Okay, so in this short video, I'm just going to show you how I add to my online uh, program using a system called Kajabi. Uh, bear in mind, please, that I'm not an expert Kajabi user, but it's a pretty simple platform to use for doing the basic things that I need to do, which are just adding to my weekly coaching program. So I'm going to go in here and click on my one to one coaching program. As I click on that, I'm going to add. Uh, you can see I've got a number of weeks here that go all the way down to week uh, number 48. I'm going to add week 49 in. I'll just make a little mental note down here. This one is fed out. Uh, the last one goes out 335 days. So the next one's going to go out seven days later, which will be 342 days. So just make a note of that. I'm going to come back to that in a second. Now, the way that I do this might not be the most efficient way, but it's certainly the way that... Uh, I find it easy. So scroll to the top, I add on, add, uh, click on add content, a new category. Um, I'm going to go in here and select an image now. I've already uploaded an image. If I hadn't uploaded the image where it says upload an image, you can go to upload, but I'm going to use a recent image. So I can click on this uh, recent image and up it comes there. What's your average behavior score? That was the session I did this week. So that's the image, submit. That will populate this area here, which we'll see in a moment. I'll type in the title, uh, week number 49. And again, you can see it's pre-populated because I've added this particular um, week coaching session to another program that I've got. So I can click on that, that goes in there, brilliant. Uh, create category, create the category. Comes down here, I can just click away from that, it's been saved. Then I'm going to add to the content. Now, I notice it's still in draft here. I'm going to come back to that in a moment. I could do it now, but I'm not going to do it just yet. I'm going to go to add content, uh, new post. Again, I go up here, I type in week. So it's the same as the um, category, week 49. It's populated, create the post. That's fantastic. And just click away from that. I click on this one here, so I go into the actual post itself. Now I've already copied and pasted some of the text that needs to go in here, so I click on paste and it gets populated. Week number 49. So this basically describes what this week is about. Okay. I'm going to need an image to go in here, so when they are accessing the program online, they want to see an image. So again, I go to select image, recent image. Again, it's that same image, image I used earlier. Submit. That will populate in there very quickly. I go to video, I want a video to go with this. Select a video. And again, had I have not uploaded the video already, which I have, I'd be going to upload new video. I'd go to my um, hard drive and upload the video. But it's a recent uh, file, so I can click on that. That pops up, it's there, you can see my face in there. Click on that, submit. Populates it very quickly. Had I have not done that, it would take roughly, it's a six minute, seven minute video. It'd probably take about five, 10 minutes to populate. The video's a bit longer. It might take, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes possibly. So you'll see this is in draft. So I'm now gonna make that uh, publish. So click on that, save. And click away down there. And if I go back to uh, this bit here, the category, you see it's on draft here. I said my things get fed out every seven days. So 300, 307, 314, 21, 28, 35. So this one wants to be 342. So I click on the draft. I go down to drip, come up here, type in 342. That's seven days after the last one. Save. And I am good to go. So that is now available for any of my clients that have gone beyond week 335, when they get to seven days later, 342, they're gonna access this training video here. Hopefully that's been useful. Any questions then, do get back to me.